Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to the first ever, for, 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 oh, what did I call it? Uh, free Software Fridays. So um, what this is, is it's going to be me showing you the free tools that I use to go and create thumbnails, um, download videos, uh, not download videos, make videos uh, with OBS and um, just basically a lot of free software that is out there that you don't have to pay for because it falls under uh, GNU license or freeware license, whatever the case may be. The first one I want to show you is called GIMP, G-I-M-P, GIMP. This is GNU Image Manipulation Program. It is here for your awesome use. Go to the download section right here. Click on uh, either directly or if you use BitTorrent. I actually don't use BitTorrent just because uh, I don't I don't like the the idea of sharing files off of my computer. Um, security thing. Anyhow, click on uh, download GIMP directly. A little thing will pop up uh, asking you where you want to save it. Then you just click on the the save, and then once you run it, um, actually hold on, I'm gonna go downloads, save it. Uh, I'm gonna let that download real quick. I'll be right back. There we go. Setup is done. Click on it. It's going to open up. I'm gonna get this little pop up box window. I don't think you guys actually saw that. A uh, little pop up box will say yes, no. Do you want to allow this program to make changes to your computer? The answer is yes if you're running Windows. If you're on Linux, uh, there's a Linux version of it. If you're on Mac OS, I've never played with the system, so I, I, I don't know. You're just going to have to you know, figure that one out. Anyhow, um, click OK. It's going to go through. Uh, I'm not actually going to install it from this point because I currently already have it installed and open. Just hit install, take all the defaults, stuff like that. Turn on your virus protection. I've got virus protection on. I don't know why that popped up. Anyhow, cancel. <clears throat> Are you sure you want to exit? Yes. Um, boom. Right here is what you're going to see whenever you first get into the program itself. Uh, if you want to just start drawing right off the bat, you can click new. It's going to ask you what kind of template you want. Um, the, it's got a whole bunch of standard sizes uh, as far as paper. It even has toilet paper if you want to like draw on some toilet paper or something like that. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go with 1024 by 1024, which is fairly large as far as pixels go. It should be bigger than most screens uh, if you're running the 1024 screen or 720p. 1020. 10 something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, uh, the main portion I want you to look at is right over here, and these are layers. So if you right click, we can do um, add alpha channel. What this does, it allows you to um, basically have a alpha or a, a transparency layer, and that's what these little gray boxes are. The gray boxes means it's transparent, it's, it's clear. There's nothing behind it. So if we were to say, just move all this stuff out of the way, I would now have like a clear border of some kind if we wanted. Um, this, is, this isn't this is really what I use it for. I mean, you can use it with uh, with uh, drawing, drawing pads and stuff like that. So if you have yourself uh, a draw pad, oh my goodness, I just hit the mute button. Uh, if you have a draw pad, uh, dang it. Okay, I don't have my pen. I'll have to find my pen. Anyhow, this is what happens when I don't get set up properly before doing a video. Uh, if you have a draw pen uh, and a pad, something uh, from either Wish or uh, maybe some, something more expensive off eBay, whatever the case may be, you can use a draw pad with GIMP. Um, it does work. The um, buttons do have to be set up specifically in, in whatever order you want. Uh, as for me, I like just using the paintbrush and selecting some default colors here. So let's do some black and we can go ahead and switch to red. Or we can do a blue color if we wanted to, like that. Hit OK. Um, this is where the coolness comes into. So if you do a new layer, it'll add an additional layer just on top of that. Now, if I draw on this layer, right, it actually doesn't affect the layer below it. That's how layering works. Um, same thing with this. We can hide and show the different layers. Uh, if we wanted to, we can come in here and add a new layer as well. So I could write something like hi, like that. 
Yeah, it looks, can't really tell what I wrote there, but, you know, if you do s check that out. Basically, think Photoshop. That's what that's what this is. It's it's Photoshop without being Photoshop, and it's free. Um, a lot of people will argue the fact they're like, "Oh no, Photoshop is so much more powerful and everything else." That's great, but it's also controlled by a small portion of people, which is Adobe, and it's licensed. And there's a whole bunch of licensing fees and everything else on top of that. You don't have to spend billions of dollars for it. You don't have to go and and drop the entire bank because you want to make some awesome thumbnails. Uh, if you want to make thumbnails themselves, I actually, let's see, Discord changes. Let's go open recent. Here's my latest and greatest Roblox thumbnail, which is actually the PAX Arena East. Um, I have a bunch of different layers over here. So, for example, Failbo and this background right here, that's my my back layer. I can delete that out. Uh, I'm going to delete this layer, which I don't need anymore. Uh, I can delete the failbo layer. Delete. Versus I can delete. And that code primate right there, I can delete. And then I have um, the little Roblox logo up in the top right hand side. That's a layer. And then I have my avatar over on the left hand side. And he's actually... Thank you so much for the subscribe. Sam Young. Appreciate it. He's actually just a, the top of the head. Uh, I have the full one in there somewhere. Um, same with this guy over in the corner. So it's just an effect that I have. Um, basically, I took their normal heads and chopped them and put them down in the corners and then added them as a specific layer to this. Uh, and then normally what I have is the Lumber Tycoon 2 logo right up here in the left-hand side. So what I can do is let's go to, let's see here. Uh, if I go to my YouTube, I should be able to go grab, oh, let me pull this off to the side, get it out of the way, so we're not grabbing anything, and don't want you to, like, see personal information, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go to your channel. That should be good. Hold on. There we go. And we'll just grab the latest and greatest, uh, okay, okay, there we go. So this is my latest and greatest video. Let's just, uh... Flip over here, it's on HD, right? Good evening, everyone. My Hi. name's Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Why does it look? video. Oh, no, my okay. deepest apologies to everyone just that was in... Just my thing. <laughs> okay, so I don't basically what I can do... Office has the insurance form and the... Let's go, let's go pause. That looks like a good screenshot uh, of my butt. <laughs> just kidding. Um, let's go... But the I'll hit play, and, all that and I'm gonna hit snip. To fill out. On a piece Just of paper, a snipping tool, which right here. Here, oh. here's the whole process. The Actually, receptionist or shh, 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 shh. quiet. You know. Okay, so I can hit play, do maximize, and then while I'm over here, I can hit that snip new. Control N. We'll just grab this right here. So this is called the snipping tool. It comes standard on uh, on most. Actually, it comes standard on all Windows machines. So when I come back over here, I can go to this uh, this bottom layer right here. I'm going to hit Control V to paste it in. Right here, you can see that the the image is actually bigger than the thumbnail itself. The thumbnail uh, is only supposed to be one three three five by seven six two. Uh, there is a template that you can go for onto YouTube's page and grab the template itself. I'm going to resize this image. I'm going to hold Control. And then just drag it down to right about there. Now, if I hold Control Shift, I should be able to manipulate on all directions. So we're just going to squish it down just a little bit like that. Um, pull this up just a little bit like that. <clears throat> Hit the scale button. Now, my shoulder is down here in the corner. Um, let's go ahead and right click on the floating selection. And I'm going to anchor that down to the, the layer that below. So this layer. That's where we, uh, th this is going to be the background. So um, some stuff I want to get rid of, see this little turn right here. Uh, I want to get rid of this up here in the corner and uh, my shoulders down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in, use my selection tool, grab a little piece of the clouds right here, copy that, paste it in, control V, control, or control C to copy, control V to paste. And then I'm going to grab my little finger here and I'm going to smudge just ever so slightly. That gets rid of those harsh lines. 
as well. Uh, got a little bit of a logo right here. I can hit Control V again. Grab that selection. Oops. Control V. Oh, it's below the layer. That's why. Okay. <clears throat> so my face is actually hiding that layer. <laughs> that's that's a beautiful image code right there. Control V. And then I should be able to move this down. Hide that. Control V again. I'll just move another little piece like that. Uh, and I'm going to smudge right here. Uh, anchor. Anchor first and then smudge. Perfect. Now I can unhide that layer, which covers up the rest. I don't need to worry about it. If I wanted to, I could. But I don't need to. Now let's go ahead and grab this little bit right here. I'm going to hit copy. And I'm going to show you a little bit more difficult piece. Paste it in. Now I'm going to place it right here. Notice the, the big change in colors, the big difference. That is the rub. So we're going to copy, paste. I'm just going to kind of paste this down here, paste this one here, and right about there. So now that that's all covered up, I can take my smudge tool, just come in and kind of smudge out those harsh lines and that color as well. All right kind of messed up the the wood right there but it's not going to be distinguishable right there around the around the fingertip good so now that's disappeared now let's take care of this uh, this little logo up here at the top the the usernames paste oh, oh, oh come on come on paste right there anchor it down now there is a little bit of a harsh line right there I don't know if you can see it in the video or not. Here, let's, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. So right here, if you can't see it, and I'm just, ooh, the wrong one. Smudge tool. Make sure you grab the right one. Smudge that out. There we go. Oh, and uh, right there. Notice the, the little, um, the mouse. Sometimes people are like, oh, that's still in profession. You should get rid of that. All right, let's do so. I'm just gonna copy this little piece right here. Copy, paste, and I'm just going to slowly move it up like that, the best that I can. And same right here, I'm gonna take this top piece, I'm gonna copy and paste. As long as I have the straight line portions, we should be good. I'm going to smudge, but I'm going to make it a smaller smudge. We're just gonna smudge this out. And give it a little bit of character. And it, it will take some practice. Don't don't get me wrong. You're not gonna do this the first day that you like download it. I mean you could. You you might be doing this the first day. Who knows? Boink. Uh, one more boink. Just like that. And now we have a nice little thumbnail. Uh, normally there's some text. I like to use the show card gothic font. That is my standard go-to font for most things. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll be like, palm ladders, ladders. And then uh, I'll bring this up to about 120% or 120 size. And I'll stick it right, let's, let's give it a little bit of a turn like that. Rotate, and then uh, I can grab this, pull it over here like that. And what I'm going to do, this is this is the trick part. Uh, I'm going to, um, actually, I've got these inverted. So let's go to colors. I'm going to invert the color so it becomes white. I'm going to copy this, or duplicate, uh, no, I'm going to copy it. So let's go Control A, which selects all. Control C to copy. Control V, no. Right click over here, new layer, okay gonna move this layer below the palm ladders can you see it behind me right there right there yeah I'll lean over here and then I'm going to paste it in on this new layer if I take the filters uh, if I go to colors invert those colors again it's now a black color and I'm just gonna line that up in the back oops 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 all right 
Um, dang it. I anchored it too soon. There we go. So if you have the movement tool selected and you have a floating selection, you can actually use the arrow keys to slightly move that one pixel at a time. I'm going to get, make sure it's nice and lined up. Now with that back layer selected, as you can see over here, it's the, it's the black layer. I'm going to select filters, blur, and use the Gaussian blur. I'll go up to 2.5, hit OK. Now there's not much change or difference right here, but if I hit control A to select the entire thing, control C to copy it, control V, and I just start pasting that in, you're gonna see that darken and that nice dark outline happens just like that. And that's what I use for uh, most of my logos. So, and we might even blur that one more time, just kind of get rid of the, the harsh edge and that is how I make a logo. Um, 16 minutes, not bad. That was to show you the, the whole download and everything else. Showed you some editing skills um, and there's multiple tools, there's multiple tutorials out there for you to go and check out. Uh, anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this uh, free software Friday, first episode ever. Tell me what you thought in the comments down below. There's not going to be any music or any, anything in the background. I might do it for the next episode or something like that, but um, free software for you to go and get uh, to make your life easier. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if I didn't say that already, but that's cool. Outro!